Legal Theory Scholars. In this video, I'm going to talk about finding the prime form based off of our normal order. Again, just as a review, our prime form is our most compact ordering of a pitch class set, and our prime form serves as a type of token to represent all possible transpositions and inversions of a pitch class set. So here, if we look at this um, pitch class set, this normal order is 3, 5, 6, 9. We found this in the last video that I did on finding the normal order. And so there are two additional steps that we have to do to find the prime form after we found the normal order. One is to look at our ordering, and in prime form, we can actually read this clockwise or counterclockwise. So starting again up from those two uh, pitches that we found with our largest adjacent interval. And what we're looking for is the smaller interval between here from 3 to 5 here or 9 to 6. So 3 to 5 is our smaller interval between here, this is a major second, here we have a minor third. And so we're going to read this uh, clockwise like we did from normal order, but we're going to kind of spin this clock face around so that we're starting on 0 and going 1, 2, and so on. And so when we do that, we can see on here, we've turned that 3 to a 0, and then we're going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so that is giving us our prime form, which is 0, 2, 3, 6. And notice with prime form, again, we're using the clendenning Marvin textbook, we use these squared brackets to show our prime form. And so let's look at another example here. So here we have our normal order of 2, 4, 7, 8. So we found that by reading clockwise, but again, to find prime form, we want to consider clockwise reading and counterclockwise. So we're going to start at the 8, since that's the last note in our sequence and run this way. When we look at it like this, we can see if we read it clockwise, we actually have a small, or counterclockwise, we have a smaller interval than if we were to read it clockwise. And so we want to actually start on the eight and make this a zero. So we're gonna kind of spin the clock face around and invert it. So we're starting that eight becomes a zero, and it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and our prime form is zero, one, four, six. Notice that we have the smaller intervals to the left of our ordered pitches, okay? That's really important that you have the smaller intervals uh, early on in, in the, the pitch class set. And let's look at one more. Here we have our normal order is TE23. What, what do you notice about this pitch class set? It's symmetrical, right? So we can see that it has a half step on either direction and then a, a minor third in the middle. And so when we're finding our prime form, it actually doesn't matter which way we read it because we'll get actually the same intervals. We'll get a half step, we'll get a minor third, and then another half step. So we can actually make either this zero or this zero. And when we do that, so here's making that 10, that T zero, zero, one, then four, five. Or if we were to start on that three, it's still gonna be zero, one, four, five. So with a symmetrical set, it doesn't matter actually which way you go, you'll still get your, the same prime form of 0, 1, 4, 5. So that's a review of prime form. Uh, look for some more videos reviewing uh, interval class vectors and things like that. All right, I'll see you soon.